Hello everyone, welcome to this video tutorial on trapezoidal rule in MATLAB or how to find the numerical integrations of the functions using trapezoidal rule in MATLAB. So the learning outcome of this video, after this video lecture you will be able to create user defined function to solve the numerical integration of functions using trapezoidal rule. So what is the integration? Integration of a function is nothing but the area under the curve you can say so you can see here so this is the function you can say and if you integrate this function with respect to dx we will get the integration which is similar to the area under the curve so what is trapezoidal rule it is an integration technique based on approximation or finding the approximate area under the curve and we will say that which is similar to the approximate numerical integration. So, this is the function uh, or uh, formula we use in a trapezoidal rule. So, what it does, it approximates the area under the curve using number of fractions or number of segments. So, function, if we have to integrate function f of x with uh, dx from a to b, which is we call as a definite integral is equal to h by 2 y0 plus yn plus 2 into remaining terms where the value of h is given by b minus a those are the uh, limits of integration divided by number of segments where n is number of segments so we have n is equal to 4 here okay so what is y0 yn in this uh, formula so y0 is nothing but the value of a function when we put x is equal to x0 where x0 is equal to a and y1 is the value of function at x1 where x1 is equal to a plus 1 into h1 sorry h then y2 is equal to f of x2 is, uh, where x2 is equal to a plus 2h it goes on till yn where yn is equal to function f of xn where xn is equal to b. Now we will see how to find the integration for this 2x plus 3 using trapezoidal rule. If we integrate it using traditional method or direct integration we will get the value of 130. So we will go to the MATLAB now. Yes, so we are here in MATLAB and this is the function we are going to write uh, in MATLAB for trapezoidal rule. Find the, to find the numerical integration. Okay, so the inputs will be uh, f which is the function of f, of f of x which we have to find the integration for then a and b will be the limits of integration and n is the total number of intervals we are going to divide the a and b okay so this is the trapezoidal rule formula where s is equal to b minus a by n and uh, the value of y0 y1 y2s we have to calculate using this so we'll start uh, writing the function we want to find the integration the final value then we'll name this function as trapezoidal rule okay and we'll change the inputs f comma a comma b comma n so initially we have given, uh, already given what is a b c a b n and f so this function is going to be a function of symbolic variable x so we will define this s y m s sims sorry this should be s y m s sims this is the uh, function we use in matlab to define the symbolic variables okay now after that we will divide this integration formula into 
two halves. The first term, uh, first thing is h by two, which is a we'll say one part of this uh, of this function or of this formula, and the summation of y zero plus y n plus two y of uh, two into remaining term, which is the second part. So the first part is h is equal to we have b minus a by n. So this is the first part. The second part is sum sum of sum is equal to sum of y zero plus y n plus two into remaining remaining terms. Okay, so this we have to solve. So we'll initiate a variable sum here. Okay, and uh, first we'll calculate the y zero and y n by substituting the variable or values of a and b into the function f of x. So to substitute the values in uh, function, we use the variable or of inbuilt function called subs subs is to use the substitute the value of a value in function of x and we'll substitute the value a so a is substituted in place of x in function f this will become our y 0 plus we'll replace or substitute in f at the place of x the value of b which will become our y n okay so this will be the first two term for the remaining terms we have to write the function for loop so iterative iterative will be i where i is equal to 1 is to n minus 1 and here we have to calculate xi xi is nothing but x1 x2 values of x1 x2 x3 and x4 up to xn minus 1 so this values starts with increment of starts with increment of h in the value of a so i'll write this h then we have to substitute we have to change the value of sum sum will be equal to substitute in f in place of x we have to substitute xi and we have to multiply this with 2 so that's it uh, this is going to calculate your summation later on for i for i final integration you have to multiply h by 2 with sum okay and here is the function now save this function by using the trapezoidal rule dot mlx okay now we'll call this function here so how to define symbolic variable x and call this function and function will write to star x plus 3 and the value of a will be 0 value of b will be 10 and we'll consider 10 intervals okay and if we run this thing we'll get the answer 130 which is pretty similar to our calculations now what we'll do we'll uh, do the calculation for trigonometric function also so we'll consider sin x x where x varies from 0 to 5 
and we will consider 10 interval only now first of all we will check what is the value of sin x 0 to pi then we will integrate the sin x The, the value of integral of sin x from 0 to pi is 2. So, we will check what we are getting here. Enter. No. So, we are getting some function here and to get the exact value we have to change our function. Uh, and we have to write VPA here it will give us a approximate value of this function. And if we will save this will save this function okay and after saving this we will run this once again and we will get the value of integration of sin x 0 to pi now we are getting the value 1.98 which is approximate value to get more closer value we have to in increase the number of intervals the value of n so we will increase the value of intervals to 100 and we will run this thing so you can see here we got the value of answer as 0 1.99 so this is how you can use the trapezoidal rule to calculate the approximate numerical integrations of functions now you can substitute any function and you can calculate the value now instead of sin x we will substitute cos x and we will see what is the value See you. That's correct. If we'll see here. The exact value is a zero. I think so. We'll do it for pi by two. And we'll check what is the value. Now we'll get the one. Yes. So and if we we'll check this from minus pi by two, no, pi by two to pi, two to pi. So you get minus one. I think so. Yeah. So that's why the final integration we got as a zero. So that's it uh, from my side. Now we'll move towards the slides. And thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel.